So you have to find the depreciation on equipment. How will you find the depreciation of equipment? Depreciation of equipment. Um, we'll do reducing balance method. No. How? We have first payment. So we'll, we'll we have to no, tell no, the no, first. Adjustment. What are they telling? Uh, this that was payable in three equal installments at interval of four months. What does that mean? Okay. He has paid an office equipment. He has paid his first uh, installment of office equipment for 2000 Okay. Yeah. It is a capital expenditure. Now, yeah. what are they telling that? An item of office equipment was purchased on credit. That means yeah. you have purchased one item of office equipment on credit and for which mm -hmm. the first payment that you made was for 2000 mm -hmm. Whatever you purchase on credit, the debt was payable in three equal installments. So if okay. your first installment was 2000 your second installment would also be 2000 and your third installment would also be 2000 mm -hmm. So whatever was your debt is payable in three equal installments with the first payment made in October 2021. This payment is already made. Are you with me? Yes, ma'am. Now you have to depreciate your office equipment. Tell me how will you depreciate your office equipment? Using reducing balance method. Using the reducing balance method. How will you use the reducing balance method? Uh... We'll minus it with the accumulated depreciation. Cost minus accumulated depreciation will be. So. Okay. Look over here. You have two things over here that you need to keep in mind. Sure. First, you will find accumulated depreciation of equipment on basis of 120,000 yeah. minus 85,000. Yeah. What is the amount that you're getting? Uh, seven, no. Uh, we get 35,000. How much? 35,000. 35,000. 35, Into 20% depreciation. 7,000. So first depreciation on your equipment is for 7,000. Yeah. And the second part of the depreciation is you have purchased a new equipment, right? Yeah. Full year depreciation is provided in the year of purchases. Yeah. Okay. So you have purchased the new equipment for six thousand. Mm-hmm. Was there in on that how much percent? Twenty. So it is giving you how much? Mm -hmm. One thousand two hundred. One thousand two hundred. So what will be your depreciation on equipment? Seven thousand for your old machine and one thousand two hundred for your new machine. So the depreciation on equipment would be eight thousand two hundred. Yes. And also, you have calculated depreciation on building. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tell me what happened. Where did six thousand come from? Yeah. The purchase. How did you get 6,000 from it? Now look over here. You have already paid, okay? You have already paid over here for your build, uh, equipment, office equipment, first payment 2,000. Okay. You can see this office equipment, yes. first payment 2,000. Very good. Mm -hmm. So you have already paid for your office equipment, first payment 2,000. Mm -hmm. Then they are telling you over here. An item of office equipment was purchased on credit during the year. That means during the year, you have purchased one office equipment on credit. Mm -hmm. And what the debt was, repayable in three installments. Whatever was your debt, 
you had to pay till three equal installments at an yeah. interval of four months. Mm -hmm. With the first payment that has been made in 2021. So when yeah. I see my receipts and payment account for 2021, I see that my first payment was 2000. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so it does. First payment was 2000 and the office equipment has to be made in three equal payments. Second payment, 2000. Third installment, 2000. So the total will be 6000. Miss, but the second and third installments will be like the next year, right? But you are purchasing the asset, right? Asset yes. be used in this case. Uh, well, excuse me, asset will? Asset will be used in this year. Oh. And it is your policy that a full year's depreciation oh. is charged in the year of purchase. Okay. Okay? Yes, yes, miss. Cool. So you have two expenses, depreciation on equipment, which is 8,200 and depreciation on building, which is how much? 21,600. Did you do this part? Yes, sir. Have you done the working as well? Yeah, I wrote. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. So these are two equipments and when we make income and expenditure account, I have to account for. Mm -hmm. Sure? Yeah. We have already recorded these incomes from before. Yeah. What are the incomes that we have recorded? 49,100, 3,000, Okay, fine. And these are two extra expenses. Yeah. That we found out. Yeah. Let's see what is the more additional information. This part is over now. I mean, there's more. <laughs> this part is over now. Yeah. Yes, miss. Okay, fine. Remember to the set. fourth part. Yeah. This is going to accumulate funds, yeah? So it's... Uh... Special. Yes. Okay. Smart. I'm just cropping this uh, thing over here and I'm putting yeah. it over here. What is my fourth adjustment telling me? Fourth adjustment is telling you that you got donated 7,500 for incoming, upcoming national event in five years. Okay. For the coming years. That you got donated 7,500, which is used to sponsor the club's participation in a national event. Okay. Special use. So this donation of 7,500, which was on top, yeah, this donation of 7,500, which was on top, will be for what? For? Specific purpose. It is for a national event. So, so this come. donation is not income. It will go in accumulated funds. Are you with me? Yes. So I have already recorded my three... Uh, income and the income side of the income and expenditure account is over. Yeah. Sure? Yes, miss. Okay, fine. I will crop this again and I will take it down. Let's take about the expenditure part. Okay? Miss? Yeah? Payments don't have adjustments, right? No. Start with expenses. Expenses for performance was striked out. Mm -hmm. Now for office equipment and for building, building. This you will not write and instead you will write what? I will write depreciation. Depreciation on office equipment and depreciation on building. So these mm -hmm. are the three incomes that I have and I will do the total over here. Please give me the total. Uh, what happened? Oh, oh. 54,800. 54,800. Then I will start with expenses. Yeah. Okay, what is the expenses? Uh, We have... First expenditure that we have is depreciation on building and depreciation on equipment. Please write it. Depreciation... Twenty 
Yeah. Okay. Now we will go on reading. What is the next thing that we have? Office equipment goes away. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now the fifth point. Look at the fifth point. What is it telling? Fifth point, it says admin expenses is there is prepaid and there is out, no, there is outstanding administrative expenses. So there is a crude out administrative expenses and there is a crude heating and lighting expenses. Now remember this rule outstanding of the previous year. What do you yeah, think? Will, of previous year will minus. Minus. And of the current year you will? Yeah. Add. So, this is the current year and this is the previous year. Are you with me? So you have outstanding of the current year 9,000 for yeah. which administrative expenses. What will I do? We'll do 3,100 3, minus 62,000. Minus 6,000. Administrative expenses. Just tell me about outstanding. Of yeah, the so we'll, do, we'll do admin expenses minus 6,200 plus 9,000. 9,000 is of the current year I will add. And yeah. 6,200 is of the last year I will subtract. Yeah. Heating and lighting. What will I do? Heating this is pre of the current year. Mm -hmm. What will I do for heating and lighting? We will, uh, we will, we will plus, I mean, we'll minus that and we'll minus 700. That and 700 is what? Minus 1,500. Okay, previous year outstanding, yeah, that also is minus. Okay, are you with me? Yes, so, what yes. is the amount of administrative expenses you're getting and what is the amount of heating and lighting you're getting? Mm, we're getting 11,000. For what? The so heating and lighting. Heating and lighting. Yeah. And for administrative expenses? For admin expenses, we have 32,900. We can record these two expenses down. Yeah. So one was what? Administrative expenses. Yeah. Hmm. And one is what? Heating and lighting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Cash and bank balance is given to me. That is of no need right now. That's so, building maintenance. Building maintenance 4,600. So revenue expense. So building maintenance. Yeah. What is the total of all your expenses? Seventy-eight three hundred. It's a loss. I mean deficit. It is a deficit. How much? It is a deficit of 23,500. Yeah. So this is how you prepare income and expenditure account. Are you with me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. Come on. What are they telling you? Read the question. Mm, chairman has received many requests from local parents for the tutorial classes because the fee Charged by club is 50% lower than any other organization. He has a plan to admit 60 students in October 2022 to increase the capacity. He estimates that an expenditure of 30,000 would be incurred in an extension of the club's building. Advise the chairman whether he should carry on this plan or no. 
So they say that you have a plan. Local parents are asking him for tutorial classes because the fee charged by the club is 50% lower than organizations. And no. now instead of 20 members, what plan he has? He has a plan to admit 60 members. Mm -hmm. To increase the capacity, he's estimating that the expenditure would be 30,000. Mm -hmm. Whether he should carry on this plan or no. Okay. From 20, increase the capacity to 60 members. Yeah. So he'll get more income. So the first thing he's going to get is going to get more income. He will get more student fees and he will get more tuition fees. Yes? Yes, yes. What would be the other advantage? When you're advising him whether he should carry on with the plan or no, you will give him the advantages and disadvantages of the plan. So what is the other advantage of the plan? It's going to be 50% lower, so the purchasing power of other people will increase, so it will, in, you can have more students. Sorry? The 50, it's 50% 50 lower now, so that means more students will join. So this we did now, more students. Hmm. What is the other advantage? Uh, poor families, students from poor families it'll, it'll can be, afford the tuition fee. Yeah, and it will increase the capacity, so that means... Students from poor families can afford the tuition fees. Yeah. What else? Uh, the increased capacity. There will be increased capacity of the building. Yeah. The students can later become members. Okay. Okay, what is the disadvantages? You give three advantages of going ahead with the plan and three disadvantages of going with the plan. Yeah. The students can later become members. What is the disadvantage of going with the plan? Mm, disadvantage is? It is a financially risky uh, project. Yeah. And the total revenue has decreased, like the profit margin because of the price decrease. Sorry? The price, the price of the uh, uh, fees, I mean, the, the price decreased, so the, the this will decrease the profit. This is 50% lower. Yeah. But you may not get enough quality staff. Yeah. You may not get enough quality staff. Yeah. What else? Uh, they may think it's low quality, like the... No, but and they won't already buy. getting offer from 60 parents. Okay, making profit is not the objective of the club. So the plan may not meet the objective. What you should advise the director, whether he should do or he should not do? He should not do. I think the do has more advantages. Okay, then he should do. Okay, he can go ahead with the plan and do the extension of the building because okay. it is going to be very beneficial for poor students. You can write your comment. Yeah. Okay. okay. So with this, we complete this question. Just write the answer for it after you go home. With this, we complete the question of M and Drama Club, which is page number 32 and May, June 2022, paper 32. Okay. okay.